Well, the first comic that I bought um, was uh, Fantastic Four and I actually bought it on the street in front of uh, Madison Square Garden when I was taking the trains back and forth from New York to Philadelphia. I just wanted something to read on the train. And it was this uh, uh, issue where uh, Franklin Richards, oh man, well, I don't even think it was Dr. Doom. There was some kind of crazy demonic possession where Franklin Richards was used as a, a pawn to entrap the Fantastic Four and it was a cliffhanger. So I had to get the second issue. That was the first time I came into a comic book shop. And I walked in, I'm like, I'm looking for a Fantastic Four issue 242. It's the production of Franklin Richard. Blah, blah, blah. Like an 11-year-old super douche. Um, and they said, well, I like a man who knows what he wants. And they brought me over and there were just bins and bins of comics. So I bought that issue. And then I bought like the next five. And then I got into reading comics. And that was how I found my way to, to Spider-Man, which became my favorite. Um, and then just when you're in a comic store every week, New stuff comes out all the time, so I just bought everything that was coming out and got into some Batman stories and started getting into artists specifically and loved like Matt Wagner and um, um, uh, 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 Mike Mignola and just people that had dramatic styles. Um, and then Tom McFarlane, you know, came around and like Sam Keith and I was just nuts on all the crazy lines and how intricate and stylized the drawings were um, and I was hooked. Ha, ha, ha.